Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial. I'm not sure what it's going to look like yet, but I'll probably just name it something that it kind of looks like. Um, it's kind of going to be inspired on just like maybe the holiday season or just going out to a party or something. Because I got some new makeup recently and I just want to try it out, like the Smashbox contour sticks and I also got sweeper brushes. I've got the Tartlet palette, so I'm set, I'm excited. I'm going to start off by moisturizing my face and using this Nivea cream. I'll link all the products that I use in the down bar because sometimes I forget to say it but oh, put too much on my hands but okay now I'm going to prime my face. I'm using the Stila One Step Correct. It's almost run out but I bought another one so I'm set and this like color corrects it. It's going to help my red cheeks you know what I'm saying? this all over my face as well oh it looks so white but it blends out oh my gosh I think I'm gonna start with my face usually I do my eyes first and then so if there's any eyeshadow fallout I do my face after that just to cover it up but I'm just gonna go straight into face today and I'm gonna start off by doing my base and I'm gonna use the so Eva 102 Silk Finish Brush and my L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I don't know what colour this is but this one's pretty dark because I'm like tanned worn out. I have like a disgusting tan line on myself. So I'll just cover that with my hands. But yeah, I'm just putting this on the back of my hand like a pump and a bit. And a half. Okay, now my face is done. I'm going to take. I just bought these from Mecca the other week. They're Smashbox step by step contour sticks. And there's three different shades there's a highlighter, bronzer, and contour shade. And yeah, I'm just gonna see how this works. I don't cream contour ever. So I'm just gonna copy the Instagram videos how they like draw lines all over the face. And hopefully it works for my face shape and it's the right color. Yeah. Started. Okay, I'm gonna start with the highlight shade and oh, eyelash. I'm gonna just bring lines down. Oh, these are really creamy consistency. Okay. I'm going to take the bronze shade and put it on either side of the... That looks okay. We'll figure it out. We'll see if it works out. I'm going to take the Zoeva 110 Face Shape Brush. And I'm going to start out by doing the lighter shades because I obviously don't want to go from dark to light because then I'll get bronzer under my eyeballs. So I'm going to blend this out. One or two brush again and I'm going to blend out the bronze and contour. So sorry, I'm Taking a real techniques, real techniques, sibling brush to just blend this out some more. I don't want no harsh lines up in my forehead. Or Should I bake my face? You know what? I'm gonna go all out and I'm gonna bake my face today using the Australis loose powder. What? Not Australis. I lied. Okay, I'm using the Face of Australia translucent loose powder. Okay, now my baking has been sitting for a little while, so I'm just going to brush it away. Now 
Now I'm going to take my MAC Medium Plus Mineralized Skin Finish. It's just like this, just a really loose pressed powder. I don't know what I'm saying. But I'm just going to set just a little bit more. Just, just want to make sure it's all there, okay? Before I go into my eye makeup and all that, I'm just gonna quickly like moisturize my lips and get them ready for like later. I'm just I don't even know what this is, it's from Mecca and some like little lip gloss. I'm just gonna dab it on. <laughs> I need to stop doing that. It's not too me, but anyways, yeah, I keep dabbing for like every song. It's become an addiction. It's really bad. I don't recommend it. So what else do I want to put on my face? Um, highlighter. Okay, okay. Soft and gentle. Can never go wrong. Get it on. This is a contour brush, but I don't give a damn. So, I'm going to use it for highlighter. So, I'm priming my lids with painterly Pro Longwear Paint Pot from MAC and just getting a Zoeva concealer buffer brush and I dip it in there. Set my eyes using this airbrush concealer brush from Model Supreme. Just like set it because it's like a cream consistency the paint pot so like once you set it with powder, you're literally good to go for eyeshadow. It will blend seamlessly. It's so good. Okay. That's done. Okay, now I'm going to use my Tarlet palette. I used it yesterday for the first time and I'm in love. It is so good. Like, if I'm to recommend an eyeshadow palette, it's either Stila in the light. I don't even think they sell that anymore. So, recommend it. Oh, yuck. <laughs> Recommendations are, like, this palette is beautiful. And I'm going to take my 227 Lux. I can't speak. Lux Soft Definer, and I'm going to put it in Force of Nature and a Wanderer. And I'm just going to put this in my crease as a transition shade because I don't even know what I'm doing with my ass today, y'all. I don't know. Power Player, which is that one there. And go just under where I put the crease color. Take the color Best Friend, which is like the most purple shade. I'm going to put it right on top of that. I'm going to take the color Best Friend and Bombshell on this Luxe Petite crease. It's like such a good brush. Like It's so precise so you can really go where you want to. I'm going to put it in Best Friend and Bombshell, which are like two of the deeper, darker purples. Really concentrate on the crease though, can you see there? Because I have hooded eyes, but I still have to like... It's hard to say, it's so hard to do eyeshadow on my eyes, because look, up my eye, like you can't even see that I'm wearing eyeshadow, so I have to like rest my eye. It struggles, it's okay. I'm going to mix Natural Beauty and Caregiver together. Luminizer from the Balm Cosmetics, and I'm going to put it on my brow bone and my inner corners of my eyes. To take the color Multitasker and Best Friend from the palette, and I'm just going to put it underneath my eyeball because it looks weird when there's just shadow on the top. This is the best, the best, the best eyebrow product I've used. It's the Illamasqua Eyebrow Cake in the color Thunder. Just now, by the way, I make my eyeliner really thin because of my hooded eyes, but you can make your eyeliner as thick as Again, I'm a full lashes. I'm just going to take this Avon Black Coal Eyeliner. I'm going to put it like tight line my eyes and then put it on the outer part because it'll just make it look better. This looks so scary right now. But Okay, I'm just going to talk about these fake eyelashes really quickly because they are so good. Oh my god, itchy, 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 itchy. I don't touch it too much. 
Okay. Anyways, these are the Ilure 117 lashes. The best lashes. Actually, so good. Okay, I just applied my lashes. Yeah. I put mascara on my bottom lash line. I'm just going to line my lips. I'm going to apply Melted Chihuahua from the Too Faced Melted Lipsticks. Yeah. I really like this color. This is like the mini version, but I think I'm going to buy the big one because I use this a lot. But anyways, um, this is the finished makeup look. I don't even know. I just decided to wing it for the fun of it just to try out some new contour sticks and the Tartlet palette, which I love and I really recommend because everything is so blendable. Like, um, Thanks for watching so much. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. See you later, alligator.